the easiest beanie you will ever make. <laughs> this tutorial is dedicated to the Smith family. Their nine-year-old daughter, Hannah, was recently diagnosed with having a brain tumor, and my son is also nine years old. The idea of my son getting a brain tumor just really reminded me how fragile life can be and that if you have the ability to help, you have the responsibility to help. And that's what I told myself. And so this is me doing what I can to help that family. That family has created a GoFundMe account to help them pay for their medical bills so they can focus on sharing every precious moment they have with their daughter that they can and just get some assistance with all those medical bills. And so their GoFundMe account, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link on the bottom of the screen, the website, if you'd like to go to the website. I will also include a link in the notes section and the comment section. So all you have to do is click on the link and donate whatever you can. If you can donate a dollar, that would be amazing. Five dollars or whatever you can to help this family. That would just be such a beautiful thing. If you have nothing to donate, then saying a prayer would be beautiful. It would just more energy going to Hannah and trying to help her family and trying to help her heal is beautiful. It's just what we can do as human beings is help each other. And I wanna thank you so much. This super simple single crochet beanie is perfect for the absolute beginner crocheter. I can't wait to show you how to make it. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not gonna wanna miss out. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're gonna need to make this super simple single crochet beanie. The materials that you're going to need to make this super simple single crochet beanie include any size four weight, medium, worsted weight, air and yarn, in any color and in any brand, that is totally up to you. Just make sure that the size is a size four weight, worsted weight, medium, air and yarn. Uh, you're going to want a crochet hook size I9 or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook, pair of scissors, and optional is a pom-pom maker. This one has a diameter of 2.5 inches, but you can use any size pom-pom maker you desire. I will also include how to make a pom-pom with just using your hand because the whole point of this beanie is to be able to be super simple and anyone can make it. All right, you are going to want to stick around to the very end of the video where I will show you a chart that includes all the different beanie sizes, their approximate foundation row chain count, how many rows it took to make each beanie, and approximately how much yarn it took to make that beanie. All right, all right, go ahead and gather your materials and let's dive right into how to make the super simple single crochet beanie. All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to be making the adult medium size beanie, which means I'm going to be making this beanie with a circumference of 21 inches around. You're only going to need your crochet hook and you're going to need your yarn with a small tail that will be long enough to weave in your end at the very end of the creation of this beanie. We're going to start with our slip knot, attach our crochet hook, all right, and with this adult medium size beanie, I'm going to chain 66 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, great. Okay, so for all of you beginner crocheters, look at your foundation row chain and make sure that each chain is visible. Like you can see the V shapes of each chain. Uh, a common mistake that a lot of beginner crocheters make is they'll make their stitches really tight and so their stitch will be super tiny and it's really hard to get their crochet hook in that stitch to work with it. So just go back and check out your foundation row chain here. Check out all your V's and make sure that each stitch is very visible to work with, okay? Now with each stitch that we're going to do in this beanie, it's just a bunch of single crochets. 
What I want you to focus on is I want you to make sure that your stitches, your tension is on the looser side. And I'm going to walk through this with you so you know what I'm talking about, but try not to make your stitches super tight because the tighter your stitches, the firmer the beanie will be. And nobody really likes to wear a really stiff beanie. They like to wear a more comfortable moldable beanie. So that all comes into play with your tension. Okay. So once you have made the number of chains that go in your, your foundation row, ours was 66, you will then follow the chain, keeping it straight. I'm running my fingers across it to make sure there's no twists. Okay. Find the very first chain and you're going to single crochet in that first chain. So insert your crochet hook into that very first chain, yarn over, pull the yarn through that chain, yarn over, and pull that yarn through both loops on your crochet hook for a single crochet. And then you're just going to make one single crochet in each chain all the way around. Okay, so go ahead and slowly work one single crochet in each chain all the way around, making sure that your tension is on the looser side. And I'll walk through that with you. And I will eventually let you go on your own and then meet you right back here as soon as you've made your way all the way around to show you what to do next. All right, so next chain, inserting our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops, next chain, insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. All right, I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> All right, coming up to the very first single crochet again, making our way all the way around. Now, if you would like to count your stitches just to make sure that you're on count and you didn't accidentally miss any stitches, at this point, right before the tail, this very last chain that we just single crocheted into, should be your 66th single crochet. Okay, that's how you can tell if you're on count. Okay, so when we meet up to the tail, meaning we've just made our way all the way around, go ahead and take your project and straighten it out, making sure there's no twists anywhere. Make sure that the tail is facing down, not up. We do not want the tail to be faced up. We want the tail to be faced down. And then we can single crochet in that very same stitch. And we are starting row two. You don't even skip a beat. You just dive right into that next row, continuing to make one single crochet stitch on top of the previous single crochet stitch. Now watch your stitches. Give yourself a look, checking out your work making sure that every stitch looks like you can put your crochet hook inside the top of the stitch. Remember the V should be above your crochet hook. So if you insert your crochet hook into the side of the work, that above your crochet hook, you should see the two loops or a V shape. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and making sure that your tension of your yarn is just gliding along the crochet hook. Not super loose so that way it's sloppy and not super tight so that way you're really having a hard time getting that hook through the loop. Okay, You want there to be a real nice glide. 
right there. And all you're doing for the rest of this beanie is putting one single crochet stitch in each single crochet stitch of the previous row. That's it, you're just building upon each single crochet stitch. Okay, you're gonna continue this until you reach row 31. You're gonna finish 31 rows. Now, how on earth do you count your rows in order to determine how many you have? Well, here, let me go ahead and show you. If I lay this down, you will start to see these little V's of their own. See this little V, this V, that V, and there's kind of a line separating these two rows. Right here, I have row one and row two. And when I get to the very end of the beanie, when I reach the end of row 31, I will really point out again how you're identifying each rows. It's really easy to see, which is a beautiful aspect of using a single crochet stitch as you can really identify your rows quite easily. Uh, and I'll be able to show you when I reach the end of row 31, how you can count. Okay, one, two, and then three, four, five, six. Okay, so don't even worry about reaching the end here when you make your way all the way around. You're just going to continue to make one single crochet stitch on top of each single crochet stitch and just keep going and just keep going, okay? When you are done with row 31, how you will know is you'll make your way around. You'll see this tail, so we want this tail to be visible. You'll put your work like, like this, making the tail be on your left hand side, okay? And then you'll just make your way all the way around until you come back to this left hand side tail, okay? That's how you'll know you've completed one full circle, okay? Also, you'll be able to tell by no matter where you count in the work, you're able to reach 31 rows. Okay, hopefully that was helpful and go ahead and continue on and I will meet you at the very end of row 31. Great, you have just made it to round 31 and this is how we count our rows. If you look at the work here, you can kind of see these little V shapes. You can also see what looks like rows, straight lines, okay? The V shapes kind of go on top of each other. So V, 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 V. So you're able to count going this way. How I identify rounds or rows is I see the straight line and I can see one, two, three, four, five, and I'm able to count to 31. If you so choose, you can also use row markers at the end of each round and just attach either a paper clip or a row marker or a safety pin or even a little string to indicate, okay, I just finished one row or one round and then just finished another and just continue to tally until you can count your desired rows. There's many different ways to help keep you on track. Okay, so in this case, we have just finished 31 rounds or 31 rows, the requirement for the medium adult size beanie. I'm going to take my yarn, grab my scissors, and I'm going to go one way across this, the length of the beanie and back loosely, not tight. And then I'm gonna cut my yarn and that should be more than enough yarn to do what we're going to do next. So take your beanie. In the very next stitch over, so this is where we are left. In the very next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. Slip stitch and that just kind of evens out the row. Yarn over, pull that yarn through the loop all the way for a slip knot, and that knots off the work for us. 
All right, so grab your crochet hook, insert your crochet hook into that same stitch that we just put a knot on top of, or we just slip stitched into. Grab the yarn and pull it through. In the next stitch over, come into the stitch from the other direction and pull the yarn through that way. We are weaving the yarn in and out stitches throughout the entire length of this beanie. Okay, so go ahead and take a second and weave this tail in and out of stitches all the way around this beanie to the very beginning and I will meet you there to show you what we do next. Great, last stitch right here, pulling that through. Perfect, and then right here is the little knot that I slip, made the slip knot to close off this beanie. Now, I want this design to be on the outside of my beanie. If you look on the inside of the beanie, I want this design to stay on the inside, and I want this design to stay on the outside. So I'll stick my hand through, grab the little tail here, and turn the beanie inside out. Inside out, just like this. Then I'll take the tail, take my fingers, and I will pull the string, and it closes the hole on the top of the beanie until it is closed. Look at that. Closed. Perfect. Take your crochet hook right next to where your string is coming out of. Insert your crochet hook into that stitch. Yarn over. Pull through just a little bit, enough to make a little loop. And yarn over and pull the yarn through that loop to form a slip knot. And that will secure what you just did. If you want, you can do a second knot just to secure, extra secure. Insert your crochet hook back into that same exact stitch. Yarn over, pull through just a little bit, enough to make that little loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop for that second slip knot and pull tight. Perfect, grab your scissors, cut off a long enough tail that you could weave in that end, or you could leave it alone, and honestly, no one looks on the inside of the beanie. You could cut this really short and be done. But I'm gonna leave just a long enough tail where I can do a quick weave and be good. Okay, pinch the inside. And the beanie part is complete. So this is going to be the part that goes on your head. If you want to weave in this end right here, there's many different ways you can weave in your ends. I'm gonna include a link right here at the top of the screen so you can tr check out all the many ways that you can weave in your end. Find the one that makes most sense to you, that you like the best. That way you can have most success with weaving in your end. Now you'll probably notice that there is still a bit of a hole at the top and we're gonna cover that hole with a pom-pom. Okay, so I'm going to make the first pom-pom just by using my hand. That way you can see that you don't need a pom-pom maker. And then I will show you with actually using a pom-pom maker how you can make a pom-pom. So I'm going to use the exact same yarn that I used to make the beanie portion. Take the yarn, three fingers, and I'm going to start loosely wrapping. So I want to probably even spread my fingers just a little bit. Loosely wrapping until you have reached the desired, looking at your fingers sideways, until you've reached the desired width around your fingers, where if you look at the diameter, that's how poofy you want your pom-pom to be, okay? So I'm gonna just keep going, wrapping around my fingers loosely. Great, once you have reached the desired Diameter of your pom-pom. I'm gonna leave this one lighter. You can make yours as thick as you want you, your pom-pom to be. Okay, I'm gonna take the yarn. I'm gonna go through my fingers. Just like so. I want 
the string to be long enough so when I tie the knot here to secure it, I also have enough yarn left over to also attach this pom-pom to the beanie. Okay, so longer tails here. Make sure it's centered. Remove your fingers. You can keep centering this center strip right here. There we go. Tie a knot. You want it to be a really tight knot because the tighter the knot, the more those strings are gonna be frilly. The more it's gonna poof and the less it's just going to dangle. I'm going to add a second and even a third knot. I'm a big fan of three knots. And three. Great. Okay. Taking your scissors, you'll see the top loops here, bottom loops down there. Inserting my scissors into the top loop and just cutting. Looking for all the loops that were on the top here and cutting those up. Here we go. There's one half. Let's flip this over and do the other side here. Finding your loops and just cutting a long center. Here we go. And you have your pom pom, and you want to keep these too long. Do not cut these, do not accidentally cut these two strips because these two strips are going to be what we use to attach the pom-pom to the beanie. When you look at the pom-pom, you want your pom-pom to be irregular. You're not gonna have a perfect pom-pom and if you try to go for a perfect pom-pom, you're gonna end up with a nub. <laughs> it's gonna be so little. You can look for the super long strips that definitely obviously look like they need to be cut down. So just kind of trim, looking at it, shuffling it around a little bit, but it will look a bit irregular and that's okay. We want to have a really poofy pom-pom, okay? Once you are done making your pom-pom, find the center hole of your beanie, take your crochet hook inside the beanie and come out one side of the hole, grab one strip, Yarn over, catch it with your hook, and pull it to the inside of the beanie. Finding the hole where you inserted your crochet hook the first time, go diagonal. So now I want my crochet hook to come out this side. See how this is where my yarn went in first? I wanna come out diagonal. Take my other string, grab it with the hook, pull it into the work or into the beanie. There we go. And so you should see your two strings going into the beanie. Come on the inside. Find your two strings. Your beanie, your pom-pom. Pull it tight so that way it doesn't flop loose of the beanie. You want it tight. And then you will just not three times, okay? So one and then two and then three, and then you'll cut loose your strings. I'm not going to make a permanent knot because I still want to show you how to make a pom-pom with the pom-pom maker, just in case that's an option that you wanna take. Using the pom-pom maker to make your pom-pom. Grab your yarn with two sides together, held together, your yarn, drape it over, Holding these two secure, you're gonna wrap. Now it's up to you if you wanna stay in one spot until you build up your yarn and then move over, or if you want to evenly, see I just kind of secured that tail in there, evenly make your way all the way around and then back again. Your goal with the pom-pom maker, looking at the sides. So you wanna fill up so much yarn that you're unable to see these side colors. You will still be able to see this, 
but you will not be able to see these two sides anymore. Okay, so continue to go around, filling up that side, that one side. Okay, great. Once you have met the width of this side, you're going to close the side in, make your way, taking your yarn over to the other two and start wrapping this side. And you continue on until this side is so full that you can't see these two anymore. Okay, when you have finished your other side, close up your circle, grab your scissors. I like to cut off the yarn string in sync or in line with the outer ring here, taking your yarn, double it in half, so that way when it goes around this ball, there's still enough yarn left over to attach this yarn ball, this pom-pom, to your beanie. Okay, I might want a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I got my string here. Take your pom-pom maker, take your scissors, insert your scissors into the side little slit that's right there, and start cutting right in line. So you're kind of following this center line It really gives you kind of a guide. Okay, all cut, okay. And then continue on to the other side. Perfect, okay. Now take this string that we cut before and lay it in that middle line right there. Okay, all the way through. Take the two ends, hold the circle, and pull. And that just pulled the yarn in between here. And it's going to keep all of these yarn cuts, all these little yarn pieces together. Okay, take these two strips, tie a knot, and pull tight. Okay, let's do that again. Tie a knot. Pull tight, and again, I'm a big fan of three. You do not have to make three, but I like to make three. Three, perfect. Once you are sure that this pom-pom is secured by your strings, take these two, lift them up, take these two, lift them up, take this side, this side, Pull them apart, set that aside, and you have your pom-pom. And it's a very full pom-pom. The difference between the pom-pom maker and using your hand is you can get a lot more uh, yarn, a lot more density in your pom-pom by using the pom-pom maker. So again, kind of going around, making sure that there's no yarn that's like sticking out way obvious. You want everything to kind of be in sync with each other, but again, it's not gonna be perfect. If you try to go for perfection with a pom-pom, you will end up with no pom-pom. <laughs> okay, so once you have your pom-pom, same thing with your beanie. Again, coming through one side of the hole. See, here's the hole. One side of the hole. Grabbing one string, pulling it through. Coming to the opposite side of the hole. Grab the other string, grab it with the hook, pull it into the beanie. There we go. Okay, taking the two strings from the inside, pulling them tight so that the pom-pom is tight. It's really tight against the top of the beanie. We really are using the pom-pom to cover up that hole in the top of the beanie. It's also really cute. Turning inside out and then Taking these two strings, one, two, three, and then cut those shorter, weave these in, keep them as is. I mean, honestly, what I'm gonna do, guys, 
I'm, I'm going to cut those really short. I'm going to leave it alone. No one looks on the inside of the beanie. And if they do, it's not a big deal. It's three little strings. Okay? So now your beanie is done. The only thing that you would need to do is weave in this little bitty tail that we began with, which is super easy. And your beanie is complete. You're done. All right, here is the beanie that we just finished making. It was the adult medium. What do you think? I think it's perfect. It fits right over the ears, right where I want it to be. It feels very comfortable, not too snug. There's still some pull. There's still some nice comfy room to feel comfortable with. I think it's great. There you go. There is the super simple single crochet beanie. If you want to know the exact colors, exact yarn that I used to make both of these beanies, I will include that in the notes section and in the comment section below for you. I hope you had a lot of fun making your super simple single crochet beanie. If you did, you will also want to check out these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me, crocheting with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>